All right, beautiful day here in Lake Havasu City. A little warm this morning, looking at a very nice 63,000 actual mile 1970 Ford Torino GT. Good solid history on this car, proven uh, documentation. If you hang on to the end of the video, we're definitely going to have more for you. We have it all sitting in the car. We'll kind of point to it as we go around the video, but we laid it out on the hood for you. Uh, 63,000 actual miles. It was purchased new in Missouri. Gentleman shortly retired thereafter, like a few months after, and then came to Lake Havasu City here where it's dry and arid. So it's a solid rust-free car, 63,000 actual miles, and a letter from the prior owner. Uh, so two-owner car. This, purchased, this customer purchased it last year from them. Um, it was refinished in May 16, the correct original color. It's a medium blue metallic Ford color. It was painted only to the, the exterior of the car, the door jams. We'll show you those as we go around in the video here. Are the original color, which gives you an idea of the car. Factory hood scoop on it, air scoop. They refinished the exterior of the car, like I said. They actually had somebody make these stickers because he said he couldn't find the stickers. I think you can find those now. Uh, you'll have to check yourself. The factory uh, beauty ring hubcap is on the front. White wall tires. I think they originally had F70 14s on them. Has what Ford called the racing mirrors. They're colored keyed racing mirrors. We have the original window sticker and the Marty report. When it was refinished in 2016, they redid the interior on the car and refinished the exterior of the car. We'll come around and we'll get inside and we'll talk about a few things there. There's the GT emblem. It is a true GT 351 V8, two barrel V8. Select a shift cruise-o-matic automatic transmission, factory air conditioning, power front disc brakes, all factory equipped, non-modified, 63,000 actual miles, with a written statement from the original owner who was 90 at the time. Front of the car here, so it's a no-hit car, no rust, spent its entire life here other than the first few months of ownership. We have factory original documentation of window sticker, I know I already said that, but we also have the receipt from the dealer. Pardon me, I got a little crooked there. So an above average refinish of a factory color. It's probably better than the factory would have been. Factory antenna here, the top was redone. All right, sorry for the little break there. The little batteries go dead in my camera. So I had to retake off there. Anyway, like I said, it's got factory door jam paint in it. That's the factory paint in the door jam. These are factory door panels. The interior's been reupholstered. It is the original dash pad. It is getting, there's a little tiny crack there. Here's all the original documents which we will have laid out on the hood. It has been reupholstered in a factory style upholstery. Um, I think you can get in color, but I believe you can get the reproduction if you didn't like the, uh, the if you want it to look 100% original is the point. It is a factory headrest car. The headrests are in the trunk. We'll talk about those. So if you went with an aftermarket reproduction interior, it would have the cutouts for the headrests on it, which you could put back on. They're in excellent shape. They're in the trunk. We'll cover that in the video. We'll cover this a little bit more, but there's a factory window sticker right there. I kept it out, so when I was doing this, we'll put that there. It has air conditioning in it, power steering, this is all factory in here except for the a renewed uh, seat upholstery. The carpet is the original carpet in the car, so it kind of gives you an idea of the car. It's got a slight flaws. Looks like they kept floor mats on it. There is a tonneau cover for when the top is down. It is a power top. The top is all brand new on it. Also done at the refinish and the upholstery. Little touch up spot there on the top. This is a uh, glass top rear window. And it is an option on the window sticker of the car. We'll step back so you can take a look at it here. Make sure I don't fall off a cliff. Torino GT badges, those stripes are reproductions like I talked about on the other side. 
So it's been in Arizona since October of 1970 is the bottom line. Uh, again, we'll go over that letter shortly here in the video and cover more. Step back, give you a little better look there. So the top is newer. Paint's nice. The paint is, again, like I said, only about a year old. There's also a little spot here with the top where they uh, may have stretched it a little too far or lifted when they lifted it or something. Again, factory headrest car, you can feel where the headrest would have went here, so it would need to be, again, a reproduction upholstery interior would fix that because it would come with a hole for it, or it could be refitted. Just a really neat 63,000 mile car. I mentioned a little flaw in the carpet over on the other side. We're just typical wear and tear type stuff. Original carpet in it. Looks like the kick panels have been refinished here. The miles are 63,308. We did drive the car. Air conditioning blows cold, takes a little while to get there. Typical for the era. There are a couple spots on the dash where it's aged. This is original, so those are small crack spots. They can either be repaired, but I know they make an overlay for these, which would be an easy fix. Very nice. All the original documents there. I'm going to get out. We're going to fire it up. We'll take you into the engine compartment. Well, might as well fire it up right now. Factory single exhaust, 351 two barrel. Fuel gauge work, temp gauge works. We've been driving it up and down the street looking for a spot to photo shoot here and we ended up back at the house. Purrs like a kitten. Hear the exhaust. Anyway, this is the time we ask you to get in, but definitely hang on to the end of the video. Go to spudsgarage.com. You're on Spuds Garage YouTube. All right, as promised earlier in the video, I, I told you I'd go over the documents that go with the car. You'll also have still photos of this at Spuds Garage. Um, there's a letter from the owner, the, the original owner and the first owner of the car. It's currently second owner. Uh, he purchased the car. There's a complete letter from him. It was purchased the 70 Ford Torino serial number in July of 1970 in Missouri. And then in October of 70, he moved to Lake Havasu City. He's been the original owner of the car, 63,000 actual miles. Again, we'll have a photo of that at Spud's Garage. To support, uh, to support that, is a uh, uh, receipt from uh, Ray Smith Ford in Missouri. And if you look at the Marty report, we also have at Spud's Garage, it backs up that it was sold at Ray, uh, Ray Smith Ford. Uh, Cruise-O-Matic, all the things. And here's thirty-six forty-five was the actual purchase price of the car with all the equipment, the VIN and everything, medium blue metallic. And then there, here's a handwritten receipt here of the same date, how he wanted it. And he wanted a factory undercoat. There was no trade involved. He gave him a $200 deposit. This is probably for the order. And $36.45 total for the car. And here's the original window sticker. This is not a reproduction that shows the car. Again, we have a Marty report that backs up this original window sticker. There's no doubt this is original. We have original uh, uh, warranty card or owner card and then the powertrain 5050 card here. And you'll see that it was dated in Lake Havasu City, Arizona. The owner does say in that letter that the car's never been in an accident or anything like that. It's never had any rust and it's had uh, uh, been painted in 2016. All the original owner's manuals are included. Original basic warranty placard that goes in there. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely hang on to the end of the video. Well documented, original car, um, original ownership style car. With Let's history. Take a look underneath the hood. Very nice original car. 351 2V or two barrel V8, Cleveland V8 engine. Select a shift cruise-matic transmission, factory air conditioning, factory power disc brakes. It has disc brakes in the front. 
So this car is exactly as, it's 63,000 miles, so it's exactly as it was equipped from the factory. Of course, some minor changes over the years, I'm sure, like refinish on the uh, power steering pump here probably would have been black, so on and so forth. Factory fan shroud, factory air conditioning that works. Let's see, original CAD plating on the hood hinges. Very nice. The paint, when they repainted it, they did not do all the jams and stuff, so you can see right here there's a slight paint line, and, they, and this is original CAD plating on these fender bolts. Very nice. Factory single single exhaust car. Bottom side of the hood, the factory hood scoop hood. We're thinking you get the idea. Very nice and well preserved. Wiper motor over there. Heater control valve. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely hang on to the end of the video. All right, let's take we'll a look in the trunk here. Just like the rest of the car, very original interior jams and deck lid paint so it tells you what the original color of the car was which we have documented on the original window sticker and marty report just like the uh, engine compartment video they there's a paint line right there so they did not paint into the jams it was an exterior refinish rock solid factory spare this is a factory headrest car uh, when they reupholstered it with aftermarket upholstery Similar to the original in the front, they did not put the headrest holes back in, so I'm sure uh, if you want to go back to the factory upholstery, you can order that reproduction probably without a problem. The uh, uh, tonneau cover is in there. It is a dark blue, just like the headrest. That's an original trunk mat, so it kind of gives you an idea how the car was. Um, Condition-wise, with all original components, rock solid. Uh, it has a... Uh, License plate bracket for those in the state that may need it for the front bumper. Anyway, we're thinking you get the idea. Definitely hang on to the end of the video and go to Spud's Let's take Garage. Take a look at the undercarriage here. Factory under underside, factory car, 63,000 miles. I know I've said that a few times. It is documented. Factory power disc brakes in the front. All dry climate operation. Kind of do a little walk around here. You're getting towards the end of the video. Give us a call. We're never any pressure. If you got something in mind, let us know. Factory power steering. You'll see it's rock solid. The undercoating was done by the dealer. There's a receipt to prove it when the car was brand new. Rock solid floor pans right there and rockers. Again, dry climate operation. We're gonna kinda go around this pretty fast because this one pretty speaks for itself pretty much. It's hard to find good original, solid original cars like this. Nice drop top V8 automatic. Give us a call at spudsgarage.com. We'll answer any of your questions. No pressure, ever and ever. Single exhaust, new muffler. Again, floor pans and rocker. This is the hardest part of my video because I got to bend over. We're right at the end here. There you go. Have a great day. Go to spudsgarage.com.